Hey everybody, it's Alicia with Graceful Plants and I am actually in Madison doing some shopping. And it wasn't intended to be a plant shopping trip, but grandma wanted to watch the baby. So that means I turned it into a plant shopping trip. <laughs> So depending on my time constraints, because like I said, I wasn't planning on doing any plan shopping. I actually have things I need to get done in Madison today. Uh, but I stopped at Young's because I had actually won a giveaway and I will be doing a separate video on that. But I decided to stop at Feli's Flowers, which they have a pretty nice greenhouse. And I was just gonna do a quick run through because I don't think I've done a video here in a while. So let's head on in. Look at all the pretty succulents. It makes you really excited for summer. So, I had wanted one of these when I saw it at Klein's Greenhouse last year. I think they, one of my subscribers said um, it's a devil's backbone, is what they're called. And I really still want to get a lip up. But I'm highly considering growing some of these from seed once it starts warming up outside, but we'll see. We'll see what the summer has in store. Cause I have a feeling it's gonna be a pretty busy one for me. Okay, we're gonna take a break for filming. I just saw someone walk by with a really nice whale fin, uh, a whale fin in Sansa area. So I'm gonna quick do a run through of the greenhouse to see if I can find some more and then I'll go back to filming. <laughs> So they've got quite a few different sizes of ZZ plants, like this, like this dude is huge, huge, and then some medium pots and some little pots. So I think I'm going to get one of these, kind of one of those days where I'm just going to get everything I've been wanting to get that I've been pulling off because I got my bonus from work. So why wouldn't I spend some of that on plants? So I was unsuccessful in finding any of the whale fins that I had saw that lady carrying. However, they do have, I think this is called a Danish crown. Somebody tell me if it's not, but I'm, I think that's what it's called. It's $39.95 and it's a pretty good sized plant. And then they have a they have quite a few different kinds here too, but unfortunately they really don't have them marked as to what kind of Sansevieria they are. Like I have wanted one of these for forever, but 67 68 bucks that's a really good sized plant but i really don't know if i want to pay that much for one of those right now but it's definitely on my list Ooh. and i'll let you see up here i don't want to keep swinging it back and forth because uh, i don't want to give anyone seasickness but look at <laughs> they were obviously having issues with their dolphins as well <laughs> But now that spring has somewhat sprung here in Wisconsin, I think it's getting better. But some, they have string of dolphins, string of bananas. So over here, they have a Hoya ship, it's the Shepardii. And the last time I almost got one of these guys up here, but it was the middle of winter and I saw mealy bugs. And the Hindu ropes are notorious for mealybugs because obviously look at all those little nooks and crannies. It's really easy for mealies to get in there and hide and you probably won't see them until it's too late. Begonias up there. Look at that thing. I don't know how well you guys can see. I can't see very well on my camera. So, hopefully you can see that thing. Looks like a staghorn. 
maybe? I don't know. A little China doll in there amongst, it looks like I'm in the fern section. So, kind of just make our way through all these ferns. And so I've seen this guy before. This is really cute. A foxtail fern. Like, look at how cute those are. Oh, this looks like it's mostly palms. Some monsteras. A couple philodendrons up there. These are so pretty. Oh, I just took a palm to the face, sorry. Yeah, that asshole. Let's see. Add and Sonia up here. And I love these. I would love to have a place where I could afford to get some of these huge trees. Like, look at this guy. Dang! It is huge. They look like they have some of the Raphidophora tetrasperma 3495. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hydrangeas are my weakness. <gasps> uh, so on camera, these are looking really pink, but they are not. They are gorgeous purple blue. Oh gosh, I love hydrangeas. I will not say that enough. Oh, so pretty. Why you? Brazils. These are all like littler sized plants I got over here. These are all $5.95. Oh, look it. It's the bane of my existence. The Calathea medallion. Are these peace lilies? They kind of look like it, don't they? More peperomia. Here's some syngonium. Some little wandering Jews. Lots of spider plants. This looks like just regular heart leaf philodendrons kind of stuck in here with these peperomias. So many plants. Let's see, what's this guy? No, they probably don't have them marked. Hmm. You guys probably can't see the coloring really well, but what do you think that is? Do you think that's a black cardinal? Or is that a Macaulay's? I do not know. Here we go. Here's my oxalis. Look at all these. So, Julie, these look like yours. I don't have these. These look really cute. Let's see, $9.95. See how big and full they are. I don't think that's terrible. That's pretty full. And the yeah, oxalis grow back from bulbs, so even if they do look like they're kind of thinning out, they'll probably be growing back. Look at all of them blooming. There's a bunch of begonias. 
Here you go, Reb. Here's your red begonia. Look at the size of these pothos. Wouldn't that be nice just to get a bunch of hanging pots like this that are trailing like that and just create a nice green wall? I think it would be nice. Oh, look at there. See, this is what the medallions are supposed to look like, not the dried crispy stuff I've got at my house. I think this is a Freddy. I do have some Rosie I picked up back here, but oh, looks a little sad. I think these are magic stars. The Stromanthes. $27.95 pretty full. why I couldn't find these. They were hidden. They were hidden in the in the spot where no one's supposed to go. Look at oh, the size. Oh my gosh. So I'm really, really, really tempted. So these are $39.95. So I'm really tempted to get this for someone has been looking for one for a while. But I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'll come back. Now that I know where they're at and I know that there's more than one, <laughs> I'll wait. I'll come back once I figure out if I should be back here or not. Cute little string of pearls. The signs say no employees past these barriers, but the plants are on the other side of these barriers. <laughs> so does that mean that's a no-go? Because look, there's the signs, most of the blockades, but there's no blockades. There's none of these on these plants. I don't know. I might ask someone. I feel bad just grabbing it and going, up. okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to be touching this, but I'm gonna get it. These kind of look like watermelons, but not quite. Is this the pepperoni? Is that, um... Oh, I can't think of what these are called. They're not mini water watermelons, are they? I don't know. Mm, these are pretty cute. And there's some tiny dancers. And these gorgeous prints of orange. They're so pretty. Hey everybody, so I forgot to finish filming at Felly's. I'd actually run into a woman that was shopping there that said that she had drove over two hours to get there. So her and I got to talking and I literally just kind of forgot to keep filming. <laughs> And so I thought I would film a little bit here um, now that I'm home to kind of show you what I did, uh, brought home because I did come home with a few things and I didn't record everything. So I will flip you around here and show you what I got. 10 o'clock at night so that the lighting in here isn't the greatest. But one of the first things I got today was I believe it's called an Iron Cross Oxalis. So I've been on an Oxalis kick lately. 
So I figured I would add more to my collection. So I got him, and then I also got this guy. And he looks pretty similar to the one I have, but the only difference is, is he, this one has um, a little bit of color variegation in the middle of the leaves, which probably a little hard to see right now that they're all closed up because like I said it is kind of late but you can see in there the dark purple outside and the little bit of a lighter purple in the middle and then I didn't film anything at Young's today but I did get a little Hoya Carnosa Compacta. All right so I hope you guys enjoyed my little shopping trip at Feli's today. I'm not actually sure if I've ever filmed in there. I know I have before but I don't think I posted it because they were blasting Christmas music so it was really hard to hear but I hope you guys enjoyed this shopping trip as always you guys are awesome please make sure to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one bye guys so Hank is mad because Moose is in here my 20 plus pound cat and I won't let him chase her so he's sitting over there pouting right now Hank are you pouting yeah you are